We talk a little bit about friendship breakup, but not enough. One of the most painful things that ever happened to me in my life was when my best friend of 20 years completely ghosted me. Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So today's video, it is a very interesting video. It, like guys, just stay tuned. Let's just talk about this video. So this video is a thread on Twitter, on X. Okay, I don't know, I still call it Twitter though. Of this sister who came online to talk about friendship. That people talk about relationship breakup and all that. But the conversation of friendship breakup is mostly not talked about. And she went on to narrate the story of a long-time friend, how a long-time friend kind of ended their friendship after she became a bridesmaid to this long-time friend. Anyway, guys, I'm going to read the trend. Just stay with me. I'm going to read it, and then we'll come back and talk about some of the things that happened. And I would like to know your thoughts as the story progresses, what you think about what she was saying. So her name is um, Khadija Robinson on X. And she went on to say, so we talk a little bit about friendship breakup, but not enough. One of the most painful things that ever happened to me in my life was when my best friend of 20 years completely ghosted me. Less than two weeks after I served as a maid of honor in a wedding. That can be very heartbroken, guys. Like, very heartbroken. And I, I can tell stories for days, but hey, let's just go. She went to give us full context of the relationship, what the relationship was like, and what led to the best friend ghosting. She went on to say, we met in fifth grade. We have been friends since. In high school, I moved away and we were so close that our family discussed actually letting me stay and live with her fam so I could finish high school. We both went to college in Atlanta. I love her to death. She got pregnant the year after college graduation and I planned a baby shower from London. Calling in favors, even have my mother drive in state to cook and help since I could not afford to fly back for it. I am a son's godfather. I routinely flew back to Atlanta, while broke and in school, just to spend time with my godson and with her. She called me a few weeks that she was getting married. It was a last minute wedding and, and asked me to come be a maid of honor. And I didn't hesitate. Now, to add color to this, I was going through a, the worst breakup of my life at the time. My ex and I lived together. We're under contract to buy a house together and we're planning to get married. Wow. When I found out he was lying about his life and money and was an alcoholic, I had to put him out of the house and come up with the portion of the money to buy the house. All I will fulfill the next money that I've already paid, which was more than $30,000. I was so stressed out. I was just a crying wreck all the time. I still came to a wedding for her. Wow, that's a friend. A week after the wedding, after two weeks before my house closing, she called me crying and asking for money. She said she was facing eviction, hmm. which she never told me before, even though I am a lawyer and could have helped. She told me she would pay back after within three days. I told her I had to get the money back to close on my house because everything was falling on me alone now. She told me she took a 401k drawdown and it was on its way. I, I don't know what that is though. I gave her the money, a few thousand dollars, because I couldn't bear to think of my godson on the streets. That was the last time I had a real conversation with my best friend. She stopped answering my call after that. Her husband paid me back part of the money. The rest is still on today. Wow. <laughs> That was in 2018. In 2022, she texted me an apology. In 2021, I saw her for about 30 minutes. That was it. That was the end of our friendship with my best friend of 20 years. Me loaning her much needed money that I really did not have because I loved her and her son. And has subsequently ghosted me so as not to pay me back. It hurt so bad at the time. Honestly... The breakup of my friendship, pan in comparison, 
I had been with him for two years. I had been with her for my life. I could not believe that she would do that to me. And just to cut me out like that, the money was one thing, but the ghosting, woo. I spent time in therapy on this. I can only imagine. I felt for years like I could never trust anyone again. No one had my back. The one person I should ever deal with had to be related to me. And even still, I was a paranoid and depressed wreck. I also battled that natural inclination I have to help people because I view people as fundamentally bad takers who will never do for me in return, which TBF many people are. It is what it is. Like this friendship breakup had my mind wrapped. I hate thinking of it to date. Wow, <laughs> I can just imagine. And as I think about all the bad things people have done to me in my life, that one hurts the most still. My mother has always encouraged me to forgive her and think of her point of view. Likely, embarrassment and not being able to pay me back. I tried truly. I think I have mostly gotten to a place of forgiveness. Her father passed away last year and I called her to check on her multiple times and also contribute to the GoFundMe for her funeral expenses. I genuinely felt for her. But I do still mourn that closeness we had or that I thought we had. That long-term friendship that I assume would have been there. And the person that I was who just gave and trust and love and wasn't so damn jacked about that period in my life. I would say that since then, no, has become a deep embedded in my DNA. I say it frequently. I am sure that lesson has saved my life from other potential harder ones. But yeah, moral of the story is these friendship breakup can be worse than romantic ones. I agree. I agree 100%. I highly recommend therapy and grace for yourself first and foremost and then for other people. We are all flawed and learning as we go and everything happens in divine order just as it should. I will add that I have recently been struggling a lot with guilt especially since our father passed. I really want to be there for my godson and I feel guilty that I spend zero time with him since this happened. It's not his fault and I'm his godmother and I don't know how to handle that. So that was mostly of the thread. And um, Joanna to answer a couple of questions. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about friendship breakup. Do you think it's the hardest compared to a romantic relationship breakup? Go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think. But please keep it respectful. You're on the channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So please air your opinion, but be respectful. So yeah, this is the story was very touching and I can so relate with that. I'm going to share a story of me and one of my friends. And there's a couple of relationships like that that I've let go that way that just eventually like but um and i get why she still feels hot because it's really stinks when that one friend or that friend you feel like you guys would do life together just choose to like break up the relationship or the relationship broke and it's almost like it's unamendable and you still miss and love that person i know it um but one lesson that should be learned, and that's one thing. I learned that lesson a long time ago, a long time ago. And my mom taught me that lesson. Don't you ever borrow money to somebody that you are not ready to let go of that money. Like my mom, like, I don't, I don't even know where that lesson started coming from. But that was a lesson I learned a long time. And I've applied it in my life since I was young in my 20s. I will not break my bag and go get money. And I understand where she's coming from. She did it out of love. And I've done that some, for some people like that in my life that I'll go for the last, I'll, like I'll break my back for them. But also at the same time, when I do it in back of my head, I try as much as possible, like, you know what? If that money go, what happens? Will it spoil the, it will it affect the relationship? If it's going to affect the relationship, I, 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 I'm not going to do it. Like if I'm going to get angry over, you know, paying me back that money, I'm not even going to give you that money. Like, it is what it is. But it's also very, um, very sad 
and I don't know the, uh, what position her friend was at that point that she could not pay the money. But that's your friend. That's your best friend. You could easily have that conversation with her. Like, girl, I'm broke. I can't pay this money. The money I'm expecting could not come. Da -da 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 -da. These are where things are. Da -da 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 -da. And she will still understand. Would she be angry that, oh, you made her not to make the payment for her house? Would she be mad? Yes, but she will understand and even respect you that, okay, at least she's explaining to me. What I feel like what hurt the sister the most is the ghosting part. Like, how can your best friend just ghost you? Anybody else in the world can ghost you, but not your best friend. And I can see how that can affect trust and how she even relates with anybody because she looks at everybody like, if that one person can do that and ghost me, who is all these ones that is not going to do it? And that's also going to build a distrust um, situation for her. Like, she's going to have trust issues with other people and other friendship. So, yeah, I, I get where she's coming from. I, I pray, like she said, she's doing the therapy and she's healing and forgiveness. But one thing I would say is that her son is a, uh, is a godson. I even have a friend to that. I'm a daughter's godmother. And we've not really spoken for a couple of years. So, like, we, it's not ghosting. Like, we just went radio silent. And I should address those issues because I that's another girl too that I love. So I feel like no matter whatever relationship, whatever is going on with her relationship, I feel like she could still be there for the son, which it might be kind of a little bit awkward at first, but I feel like she should try as much as possible to be there for her godson either way. She should try. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to share my own little story of me and my friend and how our friendship just, one of my best friends, our friendship just, broke my heart and it still breaks my heart to date and i still love her to date so i i i really feel like friendship breakup are the hardest like it's so hard. so i remember i had this friend in um university very close like we're like thick and thin they usually call us timbo and simba because she's big and i'm petite amazing girl love her like i love her to that like so much and I really don't understand some things just moved around towards the end of the year because I was a year ahead of her and all that. But something just really, she moved out of um, the apartment, not the apartment, the complex we were staying together. We we'll call it a hostel, but it wasn't a hostel. She moved to another hostel, another compound. And from there, the relationships just started going down and she was hanging out with this new set of girls and everything. And when the withdrawal just keep happening and happening and happening it just really it, it broke my heart at first i was so angry like what was wrong with her why is she acting up and over the years like over the years this is i'm talking about after 10 years 15, i think over 10 years about almost 15 years later now let's say 10 years yeah yeah i think over 10 years over 10 years later i had to i had to find a way because every time she keeps coming into my head and I miss her so much because the type of friendship we had was so beautiful. Even talking about it now, it's getting me really emotional. I miss her so much. I, I, at, that point, at that point, I didn't understand what was happening. She was not talking to me. And this is somebody, and that was where my journey of starting opening up, started talking about my pain, my struggle, and try to heal emotionally and try to connect emotionally. She was one of those persons that we connected on that level emotionally. We don't judge each other. We were very honest with each other. So for me not to understand what was happening, why she was pulling back from the friendship, why she, like she was acting weird. I remember there was this incident that I went to school. I went back to school to do something in my uni. And I saw her, I was taking the public transport and she came into the public transport I was in. And the way she greeted, like we literally greeted like strangers. And these, this is a girl that I love and I know she loves me. We have deep, like, we have gone so deep in this friendship that seeing how we interacted, like, I was just like, is this friendship that bad? I Like, is that is it friendship that bad? Like, we have to greet like that in public. And over the years, after 10 years later, I reached um, out to her and I kind of, like you know what girl like what's going on I, I don't i can't remember how i got hold of a number because i search for like every now and then she keeps coming into my heart and i'm like where is she i miss her where is she i hope she's good I, like i keep missing her i think i'm even going to call her after this video and i reach up to and i try I, I somebody gave me a number like oh we found her 
after all these years and all that. And the thing is that we're almost like a click. We were the closest to each other. You know when you have a group of friends and you have that one friend that you're very close to, that was it. But immediately people, the other group of girls could get a number. I was the first person they sent it to. Like, like you know what, well, we got a number, yada, yada, yada. And straight up, I called her. And after that so much, that's how much love we both have for each other. Like, it was almost like nothing happened. We, I was like, what was wrong with you? Like, and she knows me, I'm that straight shooter. I was like, what was wrong with you? Why did you pull away? Why did you push me away from this friendship? And she went and tell me about how she was going through something and all that. And that was, I was like, so why didn't you just tell me? Why didn't you just reach out? We, we've gone beyond that, that we can't even share those things with me. We've shared worse things with each other. So why? So I really... I really tried to amend that friendship. I really tried to get that friendship back to where it was. Even though it hurts. Even though I love and I miss her. But I don't know. She keeps pulling back and there was nothing I could do. I just had to let it go. I just had to let it go. And it still hurts me today. Like try, Even just thinking of her, I miss her so much. Even just thinking of her, I miss her. And I still love her so much. And I feel like when it comes to friendship breakup why am i tearing up and i feel like when it comes to friendship breakup it's really hard i think when it comes to romantic uh, breakup you know you do and you get out of it but when it comes to friendship as well when you guys are like girl like your girl your girl it's almost like i saw us being friends for eternity like the dead do us apart and now we barely talk like, that really breaks my heart. And yes, I agree with this. Um, and that's why, I think that's why I'm doing this video. Because I saw the the um, the thread and I so connected. I like, it can really, really, it can really, 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 really get to you. Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know your own story. Do you think romantic friendships can be the hardest? Go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think. Go on and share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversations. So go ahead and share this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to push out my content for more people to see. And that will be you supporting this channel and this girl. With that all said, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Do see.